Hey everyone, this is Super Texture. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own little watermark with Adobe Fireworks. And if you don't know what that is, it's down at the bottom right of the screen. It's a little logo. Um, like big TV shows and TV programs use in TV stations. Um, like Fox or your local news channel or something like that. Um, so I'll show you t how to add it, but most important, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now I'm going to copy uh, Comp Help, but just because I don't like copying other people and I like figuring stuff out for my own way. So I'm going to open up Adobe Fireworks. Um, you need Adobe Fireworks if you want to make it look cool and, um, you know, Basically, if you want to have a good logo, uh, you, if you want to have text that doesn't have a square around it, that's transparent, I would use Adobe Fireworks. I really would. Just just for that reason. So we're going to open up Adobe Fireworks CS3. And I made a video about fonts. And um, you should watch that if you are not satisfied with one of your fonts that you have. You can go to 1001freefonts.com and download a font and put in the font directory. And don't ask me how to do that. I have a video on it. And I'm going to open up logo.png because I already made it with a downloaded font. ST, right there. So that's what it's going to look like on there. So I'm going to press new. I'm going to make it the width 100 and the height 100 and go down to canvas color and put transparent that is basically the only important thing you need to do it comes to artist after that you become an artist after that alright um, what I did is I'm gonna just go straight to text to make it easy So I'm gonna make a text bar and I have my subway font down here and it's 72 and I'm just gonna write ST for super texture. And that is really easy. Just because, I don't know, it is. So I'm gonna save that. Save as logo 2. Because I actually already made the logo, so I don't want to save it over, so logo 2. And what do I do next? Go to Camtasia. Now I have a video right here. I just clicked record the screen for a little bit. And I did like three seconds of recording to make it easier. I just needed uh, a video to edit on to do this video. So I'm going to go to Produce Video As. And um, you can make it in HD or anything you want. Um, if you're not doing uh, uh, a little watermark. So I'm going to go to custom production settings. Don't show me this message again. Next. Save it as WMV. Best if you have Windows. Best. I'm going to click next. Yeah, just press next after that. It's good. And now here it is, watermark. And you want to press include watermark, go to options, and it has the logo right there, but you need to open up the image path with that little folder opening button. You press that. I'm gonna go to logo two. And it has my little ST logo at the watermark preview that showed up. I can make it more transparent, I can make it anything, I can make it larger. I can make it as large as a screen. I can make it make it in the middle. But I'm gonna pick it at the bottom right to make it more professional. You can move it like that. Do anything you want. But I'm just gonna keep it like that and I'm gonna have it a little transparent. So I'm gonna press OK and there you have it. It'll be at the bottom right, just like mine. You press next, next save it 
this then press finish and um it'll render um thanks for watching the video and have an enjoyable time with your new watermark and just be sure that you have fireworks and camtasia studio and that's basically all you need after watching this video thanks again youtube